Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's select this background layer and lock layer, then let's select this layer clothes and hide layers and select pins, again hide layers and first i will work with this sphere and world map texture so let's select layer 12 this is lines again height and airplane let's delete this airplane okay so select this earth layer let's control d and select this map let's move the inside two layers and go to here change none to alpha mate earth 2. nice Right now, I can move these map textures inside this circle. Nice, very good. So in this time, select this Earth 2 and map. Let's link to Earth layer. Select Earth layer and let's see. Okay, that's good. And go to here. Let's enable title action save. And select this ellipse layer. Let's move the center like this. And let's press P. Make new parts in chip frame and move it down. Okay, then click time duration. Let's write here plus 10. Click OK and move up this layer. Okay, let's go to 10 chip frame again. For shortcut, you can use Hold Shift, press page down in the keyboard. And let's move it down. Again, go to 10 chip frame, move it up. And again, go to 10 keyframe, move it down, and again, move it up, and again, move it down, and finally, go to 10 keyframe, move it up. So, there are more keyframes for smooth and bones animation. Select all keyframes. Let's right mouse, keyframe assistant, and easy ease, or click F9. Let's animation. Okay, that's good. So right now, let's select this map and press P. Let's move it down and go to here. Make new passing chain frame and go to here. Let's move it up. Go to next chain frame, move it down. Again, go 10 chain frame, move it up. Again, go to 10 chain frame, move it down. And again, move it up and again, move it down. And finally, go 10 chain frame. Move to up a little bit. Select rotation chip frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, very good. So select all chip frames. Let's right mouse, chip frame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's say again. Okay, very good. And in this time, let's go to here. Select these layer clothes. Let's enable layers. And Go to here, let's press P, make new passing chip frame, and go to first second here. Let's move to left this cloth, and this cloth move to right, and this move to right, and this move to left. Select cloth chip frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, so select chip frames again, go to graph editor. And select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay, back to chain frames and let's make random clothes. Let's say again. Okay, that's good. So let's close chain frame settings for clothes and select this pin and pin 2, pin 3. Let's enable layers, go to here, and in this time, let's link to earth layer. Let's see. Okay, and let's select this pin layer. Select one behind icon, and move the anchor point down. Click session tool, and let's move to right this layer. Press S, chain scale zero. Make scale chain frame, go to 10 chain frame, again hold shift, press page down or click here, 
write plus 10, click OK, chain scale 110, go to 10 chain frame, chain scale 95, again go to 10 chain frame, change 105, and finally go to again 10 chain frame, change 100. Select all scale chain frames, make easiest. And let's select work area, let's say animation. Okay, that's good. So go to here for a second and hold shift press R, open rotation, make rotation chain frame, chain rotation 20, go to 10 chain frame, change minus 10, go to 10 chain frame, change 5, go to 10 chain frame, change minus 2, that 5, go to again 10 chain frame, change 0. Select rotation chain frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, very good. So select these all chain frames, scale and rotation, Ctrl C for copy, and close chain frame settings. Select this pin 2. Let's select pan behind. Move the anchor point down. And click session tool. Let's move to right this layer. Let's Ctrl V. Let's move to left this layer. Okay, let's see animation. Nice. And we can move to right this little bit for random animation. Nice. Let's move to right again. So, select this pin 1. Let's go to pan behind. Move the anchor point down. And click session 2. Let's move to right this layer. And control V again for patch chain frames. Let's see. Nice. Okay, so let's select this pin 2, move the right again, like this, let's see. Nice. So, in this time, let's go to here, and don't select any layers. Go to pin tool, and let's zoom to here. I want to draw road for this map. Let's one here. Let's make like this. And... Like this, okay. Click session two, and for this, let's first link to earth layer. Let's close chain frame settings and change name this shape layer rod, and let's open inside contents shape one and stroke one, and let's click this plus icon for dashes. Let's zoom to here and go to stroke color cube. Let's select white, click OK, and we can change dashes size and offset. Let's change dashes like this. Let's change 50. OK, and let's go to here. OK, and this time let's make offset animation. Go to here and change 100. Let's say animation. Okay, so let's change minus 100. Let's see. Okay, very good. And right now, let's close here and select the shape layer, go to add, let's use trim pads. And let's close stroke settings. Open here trim pads. And go to first, second. Make end shape frame, let's change like this zero. And go to here, last second. Change end 100. Select these end chain frames. Let's make easy. Let's see. Okay, very good. So, let's select this rod and press U for see only active chain frames. And select this offset last chain frame. Let's move right like this. Very good. And let's go to last chain frame. Change offset minus 300. Let's see. Nice, very good. So right now, let's select this road and move to behind pin layers. Nice. And let's see. Okay, select this pin. Let's move to right. And this move to right. 
and this. Let's select 8 seconds, press N for select work area. And let's see timeline. Okay, so select this pin 3, pin 2, pin 1 and road. And let's move to left like this. Let's move to left a little bit. Okay, that's good. And in this time, press N, right mouse, click trim, come to work area. And let's select all layers, click motion blur. And don't forget to enable here motion blur, let's see. Okay. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.